Hello, in this video we are going to look at how to add a logo onto a sales invoice within Sage 200. But you can use the same principle, add a logo onto a remittance advice, statement, purchase order or in fact any layout held within Sage 200. So let's just open our Sage 200 system. The first thing that we need to do is we need to open our report designer. To do that we go up to our cog icon in the top right hand corner and that will open our tools menu and from within there we can then run our Sage Report Designer. So here you can see the Sage Report Designer is opening. From the left hand menu we can go to the File Explorer and open our default folder and within here we've got our Layouts folder. This is where Sage 200 holds all of the standard stationary layouts, so all of your purchase orders, remittance advices, sales order invoices and credit notes will all be listed in here. This is the layout that I'm going to add our um, logo onto, which is our SOP invoice single. So I just simply double click on there. I'm going to add our logo into the middle of the header. So I'm just going to position it here. To find the image, I go to the toolbox menu option on the tree menu. And then I click on the add image logo button. I then move my mouse to roughly where I'd like the image to be positioned, then left click and the system will allow me to search my PC or the network for, for the logo. So I'm going to click on OK. My logo is located on my desktop so I can simply click that icon, although I could have browsed my PC or the network to find the image if it had been stored somewhere else. Then I can click on Open and my image will appear. I can resize the image and then I can move the image to position it to where I prefer it to be stored. And then once I'm happy with the size and the position, I can go to File and Save As to save my invoice layout. The invoice layout itself will be stored within the custom folder. Any layout that you've amended or edited you should then store in your custom folder rather than the default folder. It's renamed it copy of SOP invoice so I'm just going to take the copy of out of the file name and click on save. I already have an invoice with the same name which I'm going to replace and then I can come out of the report designer itself so I can go to file and exit. I'd now like to show you that um, logo on the invoice. To do that I go to Sales Order Processing, Document Printing and I'm going to reprint an invoice and the invoice I'm going to select is invoice number 126. I'll click on print and it should come up to preview for me on the screen and here you can see that the logo appears. I hope you found the video useful. If you did you might wish to um, visit my blog or YouTube channel more hints and tips on how to use Sage 200. Thank you for watching.